Mmm, what a fine looking automobile. Mm-hmm. Feister design. Yep, down here at the Rich Strip <laughs> near Vangelico uh, Jewelers. Right over there, that's where the first heist in the uh, single player happens, I think. Yeah, so here we are at Feister Design, and there's my Comet Retro. I think I might get it a new paint job. It's still in that same uh, Santa's Soleil paint job, but it actually works. So I haven't changed it, but I've been thinking about going matte. Maybe a matte red with a pearlescence or something. Hmm. Hmm. Well, here we are at Feister Design, and they brought out a new design for us, everybody. Welcome back. I'm the Mizzenzock. Welcome back for more Grand Theft Auto Online. So, today we're going to get ourselves the, uh, the Feister uh, Comet SR. Yep. And of course, like I've done before, it's at the very end of the sale. <laughs> but hopefully you guys uh, can get another sale later. And it's not that big of a sale. It's only 25% off, so it's a good amount. But uh, it's not as good as some other sales they give us here and there, right? So you go into Legendary Motorsport. And we'll go right on down here to Feister Comet SR. So I've been kind of waiting for this one for a little while since they brought it out. Part of the Doomsday Heist. Seats 2. All right. Normally 1,145,000. And it's on sale right now for 858,750. And I'm sure they'll bring it out on some more sales in the future. Comet is R. All right. Forget everything you think you know about the Feister Comet. Forget cruising through Vinewood with a belly full of whiskey, dropping one-liners about the size of your bonus. Forget picking up sex workers and passing them off as your fiancé at family gatherings. The SR was made for only one thing. To make every other sports car look like it's an asthmatic kid in gym. Now get in line. <laughs> All right. Hmm... Hard to say which color I'm going to want with this one. Hmm. Hmm. Well, um. Order it in an orange, white, hmm, green, blue. I think blue looks great from some of the uh, promo pictures they had. I might even go something like that. Let's see what a white one looks like. Why not? White's a good, nice classic uh, color for Porsches, too, for Feister Comets. All right, order for the sale runs out it's literally like down to the last minutes i think for me but it's always started to say when their sales actually end and they start new it just kind of gets weird in there some people think if you don't leave the session nothing changes but i've had times where i you know it did change right away like i couldn't even buy bullets without uh without giving me an error without reloading so it's kind of weird depending on the uh, sales anyway so it will be traditional we'll order it to the del perro heights apartment all right 858,000 down all right Gotta make some more money. <laughs> Ooh. All right, we've got a race comet. It's a comet SR. Yeah, so much better than this uh, retro comet. The retro comet's very cool. It's a retro comet. <laughs> if you like uh, comets. Now, that said, it's not actually as good as the regular comet. So, for a while, I was actually thinking about um, buying a regular comet because this one's not actually as good as the regular one. And then thankfully, they brought out more of what I was actually looking for, which was a Comet SR, a, a higher end, like a modern version of a, of a, of something like this, of the custom retro. So it's the Comet SR, which most people think the SR stands for Street Racer, but you know, that's, again, you always have to interpret these things through Rockstar because they never really explain any of them, or very rarely anyway. Oh, hey, there's a Comet right there. Yeah, there's a regular Comet right there. Still a very nice looking car. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can see the family resemblance. Yeah. All right. So um, let's have a look at this new one. Should be arriving soon. We'll go through some other details. It's actually a very good car if you guys want to consider getting it. Um, there is better cars. You might want to consider the Pariah. Sorry, next block over. The Pariah is the current king of the sports cars. Um, yeah, so we got a Pariah a little while ago, if you guys want to check that out. Got a green one. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, so, there is some other better ones, but that said, it actually um, uh, does rank pretty well. So in top speed testings, and I use usually uh, Bruffy 1322, so he does great testing. Thanks, Bruffy. So uh, it's uh, fourth in the top speed, and second on track speeds. So on twisty turning track speeds, it's uh, second, and uh, in top speed, fourth out of the sports cars. Woo! -hoo. New comets delivered. Let's go in. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, I know I do my, my thumbs up a lot. I can't help it though. <laughs> I wish they gave us more interactions, but there's really not much. There's point, and there's your one interaction. Well, I suppose there's another in the car, you know. But that's about it. Mm. 
That or I just stand there looking <laughs> blankly. Woo, look at that. Nice. Definitely looks like a Porsche. Looks like a Comet. Yeah, Fister Comet. Feister, Fister, again, it's up to you and they never really explain it. Most people think it's Fister though, but Feister shows up a lot too. All right. Look at those vents. Cool. Very cool. All right, so most people think this is uh, based on a Porsche 997 uh, GT2 RS. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we were talking about the track speeds, it's uh, fast and it has great traction. To some people, it's one of the traction kings. As it probably should be for a, for a Porsche, for a Comet. They're usually famous for that. You know, back in the day, they were kind of known as the supercar-ish car that you could take in the snow. You could take up the mountain, which was kind of a rare thing when you look at something like Ferraris, let's say. So it's nice and quiet. I'm going to hop out. Just do that one more time. Hmm. It's nice. It's super quiet, but I wouldn't expect this one to be loud. It's not a muscle car or anything. But it's got a nice smooth hum. All right. Thanks. <laughs> she runs away. Yep, she liked it, but liked it too much. Scary. <laughs> Yeah, it looks good in white. You can see all the black extensions, the little vents there. And it uh, comes with a carbon roof. <laughs> oh, she's got some go. Right off the start. Yeah, not too bad. I like the back end. It's very uh, trademarky look to it. It's cool. Whoa, hey, hey, don't touch my new car. <laughs> All right, let's open it up. Let's see what it looks like. With things open. Oh, we've even got... Oh, yeah, well, I guess maybe we would have a trunk because the engine's back there. Yeah, the boot. I didn't expect it to open, but I should have because that's where the engine is. Lots of room for bodies in the front. <laughs> or whatever gear you need. Hmm. Cool. Yep, roll cage already installed. Internals. It's too bad it's not a Benny's car, which means that you can't um, do a whole lot of modification inside it. But we'll see what we what we can get inside the mod shop. It's nice. That's like looks like a chrome uh, gear shifter. Some badges, Comet. Yep, very cool. I like it. Looks like a looks like a nice Porsche. Looks like a race Porsche. And that's what I was hoping it would look like. Take it into the mob shot. Well, into the office and then into the mob shot. The ball? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gives you some funny views in the cinematic mode there. <laughs> Hopefully clubs are coming soon. Busy, LJD. Busy. Uh, uh, yeah. All right, all the way into the garage. Very cool. Might as well just take it right in. Some tires are decent. They look like a regular stock tire. Nothing too special on them. What she need, then? Everything again. Everything, everything. Tuning it up. That's what I'm after. All right, 100% armor for 50,000. Brakes, 35,000 for race brakes. That'll help. And bumpers, we'll get into that in a second. Engine, level four, 33,500. Kind of like yeah, me too. Definitely the kind of engine I like to work on too. Heat on lights, 75,000. Ooh, change our plate. Missing Zach. Yellow and black. There it is. Yep, that's right. There it is, everybody. <laughs> Roof, skirt, suspension, suspension. We're going to lower it down to sports suspension. 34,000. Transmission. Race transmission for 40,000. A good driver. Mm, turbo for 50,000. This turbo 
should come with a safety. I guess it did. And our limo tent. That's nice looking white. Comment there. All right, so now let's get into some of those options. Now, do I want to change my color? I'm not even sure what color yet. It's probably going to give me secondary choices anyway, so. Chassis? Hmm, what's that? If Stock chassis. Primary intakes. Oh. And secondary intakes. Oh, I see. So you can change your colors. Does it change anything else? I don't really think so. I, think. I guess it is chassis work, body work, but you'd think it would change more for calling it a chassis, you know. Just call it a vent. <laughs> or air intake, I suppose. Yeah. Well, I'll come back to that, but I'm probably going to go with a secondary intake. Exhausts. Hmm. So stock is not bad. Twin, which is nice. Gives you quad. Angled, dual exhaust. Hmm. Oval shaped. Titanium tipped. I think I might like some of these other choices, but I think I'm going to turn it race car. It's a race Porsche, race SR, so maybe I will go all the way to the titanium tipped exhausts. It does look more, a little bit more race than some of the other ones. All right. Fenders, extended arches. That's cool. Take that, 900. Hood options, secondary hood for secondary color, and a carbon hood, so you can do more carbon. Hmm. Well, that's not a lot of choices there, but I might go with the secondary. Let's see those roof options too. Is there a regular roof? Primary roof, yep, there sure is. So stock is like a carbon, and then you've got primary and secondary. Hmm, well, I'm gonna have to decide my color. I think spoilers. Yeah, because there's primary and secondary spoilers, lots of spoiler choices. Yeah, big race wings, carbon race spoiler, secondary race spoiler, and primary. So it looks like it just goes through them, but otherwise it's actually only a few spoilers. Yeah. So like the regular spoiler, oh, you can actually give it none. Oh, well, that's interesting. So you can give it that classic look. Hmm. Carbon stock. I'm probably gonna give it one of the, uh, the ones that looks like it goes with it, either a primary or a secondary. No yeah. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and change colors. Chrome. <laughs> I'll let you guys see some colors here. Metallic. So we'll go, yeah, we'll go backwards, we'll go down. Life is hard when so there's our black, which is a really great looking black. Black comet. Dark steel looks great. It's like black with, uh, so you can see the, uh, the blacker highlights better on it. Might go with something like that too. Silver. Mmm, stone silver. Another car looks great in stone silver. Whatever you desire. That's a very classic like uh, Porsche like color too, if you ask me. That silver stone. Red. Mmm. Wow, this car looks great. <laughs> Lots of good colors in this one. Yeah, I bet you wine red would look great on this one too. Yep. Do you need a drink? Bubbles? Yep. Uh, pink or Feister pink on a Feister. <laughs> Salmon, oranges, yellows. Yep, makes a good yellow and black. Greens. So it doesn't look too bad in green either. Olive green. Midnight blue looks great. We did a car just a little while ago. I think my Mustang, the GTX Dominator, is in that. But yeah, lots of the blues look great. I think the blue was in the promos and it does look good. 
I was thinking about getting a blue, actually. But now I'm starting to think about that stone silver. Harbor blue. Diamond blue. Surf blue. And I was going to say, it probably looks good in a lot of these uh, surf blues and, um, uh, um, you know, the, the seafoam green type things. We'll see. Racing blue. Ultra blue, which actually isn't too bad on there. Light blue. Chocolate brown. <laughs> Bison brown. Creek brown. Saddle brown. Moss. Moss is kind of stylish. Laid back style. Wood beach brown. Shaft or purple. Hmm. Spinnaker purple. Bright purples. Making decisions is stressful. It's not too bad in purple. Lava red. Hot pink. <laughs> Actually, it looks pretty good in hot pink. For what it is. Yep. Yeah, looks like California. Gasoline green. I gotta get back in there and unlock that. But yeah, there's a few different ones. And you can always do crew colors too, if you guys ever want to. Just keep that in mind. Create your own crew. You can have five crews, so you can always have your own crew, separate to the crew you're a part of, perhaps. And then you'd have a uh, custom crew color. And it helps you get by around these a lot of these unlocks, plus have more color choices. And then you can always paint your car, crew color car, if you wanted to. I like to keep it to the simple ones, though, but, but you can always do that. All right, so I think I'm going to go with that stone silver. Maybe we'll have a quick look at the mats. That only takes a moment. Oh, banded black banded out actually looks nice. Yep, yeah, reds, nice oranges, green, forest green, no rush at all. desert tan. Hmm. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to go to my stone silver there. Yeah, I kind of like that. It's not very race, though, is it? It's kind of classy. <laughs> Maybe I should go with the red or something. Oh, well, I've committed. Stone silver. Your cosmetics are on point. Now, I'll think about that pearlescence. The secondary color is probably metallic black. Yeah, might leave it on that for now. And I might change the pearlescence, too, but we'll come back. So now we got our color choices. Now we can go through the rest of these things a little bit easier. Bumpers. Front bumpers. It's a primary split. Changes it to primary color, secondary, and competition. So you really only have color choices and the competition. Yeah, I think I'm going to go competition. I kind of like those other ones though, but I am going a little bit more race car style with this one, so. Competition splitter is the only real style there for it. It's not bad. I like it. Whatever you design. Rear. Technology and budget permitting. So that's your regular one with carbon by the stock. And then you've got primary rear, which actually looks pretty cool. And then secondary. Hmm. Yeah, I was going to keep it so that you can see all the secondary all the way around, but I think I kind of like that primary at the back. And you still have that hint. Yeah, still have that hint of the carbon right here with the, the back uh, vent there. Mm -hmm. All right, Chazzy, back to where we were looking at those intakes. So the carbon does look great race. I was going to go secondary. But maybe I should just leave a carbon. How's that race vent look? Hmm. I think I will just leave a stock. The carbon look. For the vents anyway. Exhaust we already picked. Fenders. And we picked the extended arches. Hood. Carbon or not. I think I'm going to go secondary. So there's our metallic black on there. Don't need a horn for it. Mm -mm -mm. No. Roof. Primary looks good now. And then secondary keeps those lines. If you can think it, I can do it. Hmm. 
Oh, 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 oh. third one. Maybe we should pick our uh, other one. Skirts. Primary skirts. Secondary skirts. And competition skirts. So very good. Again, very cool. I like that color choices. But if you want race, it looks like to go with that front splitter, there was only the one real choice, the competition skirt. So, competition skirt it is. Spoiler. All right. Now for me, whether or not I pick primary or secondary, I'll probably decide the roof, primary or secondary as well. Now that one is nice and race. It actually, um, for the bigger, um, wings it actually fits on the Porsche a lot better than others yeah that's it I think I like that one because I think it kind of looks like it comes with the car maybe 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 a stock option I don't know it sticks out a little bit uh, uh. hmm Yeah, yeah, I think I will. Now, secondary or not. Well, I think it blends in a little bit better with the primary, so. Primary. Okay, back to that roof. Primary or secondary? I'm thinking now, primary. What? Unavailable. No rush at all. Well, why is it not available? <laughs> what? Yeah, it might be that they've changed times on the events now. I might have to reload in to continue. Life is hard when you can have anything. I was talking about sometimes things don't work once you once it changes over. Now the chrome would look good, but I think I'm gonna paint it some uh, stone silver. Ooh, that's nice. Carbon infernos. Carbon infernos always look good though. <laughs> Carbon S Racer. Is there a regular regular S Racer? Yeah, not in there. So these are all the sport ones. Cosmo. Dash VIP, we've used that before and that, that looks nice too on certain certain classy cars. Yeah, the meaty rough weld. Inferno. So there is a regular inferno. Hmm. Kind of gives it that weird gray lines on the side, like little circles on it with the, uh, the inset. stock hmm well that is a hard one to decide ground ride's nice too but maybe I'll go with my original inferno or something mm -hmm. that deep five I haven't tried that before I think I like that shine, the Inferno, a little bit. Okay, Inferno. Well, let me buy those. That's good. Whatever you desire. 
Technology and budget permitted. All right, wheel color. Black looks nice. Goes with a lot of the other black hens. It's gonna go with stone and silver. Whoa, can't see on that side. <laughs> Do you need a drink? Bubbles or something? Yeah, stone and silver should match up, and it does. But I think I like uh, the dark, dark accent a little bit better. Go through some colors here, so you guys can see some of them. Dark ivory, copper, dark brown. Bronze, dark earth. Dark earth would actually go well with it too. Desert tan. Very cool. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to go a little bit darker. I'm going to go... Maybe I should have just picked carbon. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. What can you do? I think I'm going to go with that carbon black. Yeah, carbon black. It is. Sold. Tires, tire design, custom tires. Now well, we're going for race. Why not? Hmm. Yeah, sure. There you go. Sometimes it's hard to decide. Bulletproof tires for 25,000. Tire smoke. Leave it white. Yeah, we'll give it black. Black tire smoke. 5,000. Okay. Now, is it going to let me change that roof, you think? Don't she look pretty? <laughs> That's so weird. That it was like that. Well, there we go. Let us change it now. That's good. Okay, I think that is everything, guys. Unless I wanted to change that pearlescence. And I think, um, I think I might keep it, but I will have a quick look at darkening it. It's a bluish silver, yeah. If you can think it, I can do it. Yeah, I think that that might be better, a little bit darker. So stone silver, pearlescence on the stone silver paint job. Just makes it just that slight darker, but keeps the original color. If gray is a color, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's exit the ground. See you next time soon. <laughs> Can't wait. What else? There might be a new car today. Uh, hard to say. All right. So oh, here she is. I don't think there'll be anything different on the inside, but open it up. Oh, he's grooving in there. He likes it. <laughs> yep. Nice. Yeah, Feister logo right there. Yep, has the uh, has the feel, and no roll cage options either that I seen. Just primary color by the looks of it. She sticks to the road. I was trying to spin it around, but she doesn't easily because she's magnetized to the road. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of driving crazy a little bit because I'm trying to check out the handling. Whoa. It's actually really good. And I hope you guys can hear that little bit of a growl in there. It's like almost like a, a quiet crackle in the engine. There you go, you can hear it when I when I ease off the gas sometimes. Yeah, I like it. Alright, well that is our new Feister Comet Azar. New race Porsche. I like it. I was going to get a blue one, but I ended up with stone silver. Is it night? Yeah. Yeah, it's night. 
you'd think I'd know that living at Long Bank office as long as I have. <laughs> that whenever the sun's on that side, it's always sunset. And it's always, you know, sunrise on the other side of the city. And yet, I have to check every now and again. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, yeah, it just goes. And it sticks. Alright. Well, I definitely like this car. Definitely recommend it. Wow. Now, that said, like I said earlier, you know, you probably are better off with the Praia. Um, you know, and things like that. But if you've got the extra money, or you're a, a, a Comet uh, fan, or a Feister fan, or a Porsche fan, I should say, then uh, this is probably a must-have vehicle. It's quite nice. Yeah, it's uh, quite nice. I drive a lot of muscle cars here and there, too, lately. And whoop. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of nice having something that sticks to the road so well. damage that do not very much it's good all right yeah all right everybody well that is the new common SR hope you guys like that pull in front of these guys just block the garage like an ass <laughs> All right, everybody, hope you enjoy that. That is the new Porsche. Hope you like that. Got it just at the end of the sale, but it's actually a not bad price, comparatively speaking, to a lot of their uh, more recent stuff. Uh, it's great stats, and uh, it is the new king of uh, comets. Yep, out of the three available. Well, three main comets, anyway. There are a couple other Feister cars that are awesome, but, uh, but of the traditional Porsche look. This is the new king. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go get it fixed up, hit the city streets. <laughs> yeah. And I quickly bought a uh, LCC Sanctus, too, when I hopped on, just to uh, get that ahead of time before the sale ended, and because they were going away, they were here for Memorial Day. But they'll probably be back for some more holidays, almost certainly for Halloween. So we'll come back and we'll do that soon, the uh, LCC Sanctus. But I think I might do a quick thing first, and we really need to do those laid back, that laid back grinding. I was making money, but uh, but not all at once. Little bits here and there. Yeah, it's too bad. It's like I feel like I were a day short this weekend. We were because Rockstar was a day short on their uh, on their event week. Yeah, <laughs> but that worked out good. We managed to get one of those bikes in time, and most importantly, this Comet SR. I like it. Feels like a nice uh, street racer. Feels like a high end street racer though. Like not like a. Not like a modded kid street racer, but like, you know, the rich guy who wanted to go race in the streets. He'd probably get a lot of crap from the kids, but you know. <laughs> as long as he won, he wouldn't care. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say I'd have to practice to get driving uh, this better, because I think in many ways I keep anticipating it to slide out of control, you know, and it doesn't. And uh, I have to, you know, you have to adjust your driving accordingly. I might change those good those uh, exhausts back too. I thought there was some liveries in there, but I didn't see any. But it's kind of a race port, so I thought they had some uh, livery for it. But that's all right. Don't know if I would have picked one or not, but surprising they didn't for the race one. Be nice if they did some basic livery sometimes, like uh, kind of like you have in Benny's, you know, like like pinstripes and stuff, you know, or they just have a simple line, or you know, just add some simple new badges, you know, that say, you know, maybe Feister Comet at the back, or you know, just some simple liveries, I guess you could call them, simple skins that just have some nice adjustments. Although I like some of the really crazy ones, but it'd be nice to just have some low-end simple ones too. All right, everybody, take care. I'm the Mizzen Sock. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. See you again very, 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 very soon. <laughs> Mm -hmm. She's all fixed up now. It's hard to resist taking her back out. That was my turn.
Jaders up the mountain one of these days. My yeah, mine too. That's my bad, Jay. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> Gotta go. 